Hey YouTubers, this is Gary, and this video is Whitetail Biology 101. If you're into archery deer hunting, or if you are an archery deer hunter, uh, being successful has to be number your one of your number one priorities because we spend a lot of time in the woods and we want to be a successful hunter. Now sure, you can go out in the woods and you can find a trail that's active that has uh, fresh deer tracks on it and you can set up a stand near that trail and hope for the best and that may work. But uh, with these few tactics that I'm going to share with you over the next 10 minutes, I guarantee that you will increase your success rate by 50%. Um, I split my deer hunting uh, year into three parts. The first part I call the pre-rut, the second part I call the rut, and the third part I call reorganization. Let's cover uh, quickly the pre-rut. The pre-rut is basically um, finding the deer in your area's food source, their main food supply, and finding the bedding area, the area that they feel secure enough in to sleep, and then uh, finding how they access their food supply from their bedding area and setting up along that route and uh, ambush hunting. Now, <clears throat> the rut. The rut is where you need to learn just a little bit about whitetail biology and what I'm going to share with you here. Okay, everybody has seen um, deer scrapes and deer rubs. A deer scrape is a, a large area of earth which is torn up, generally uh, kind of in a, a large circular pattern and usually it's close to the base of a tree and the tree has some low hanging branches and limbs in it. Okay, Now a scrape is where a deer has taken their antlers and they've scraped around on uh, shrubbery or bushes or trees and usually those are close by to the uh, scrapes or that's a rub. Anyway, okay. Uh, White-tailed deer share an identification system in it which is just as individual and accurate as you or I using uh, fingerprints and social security numbers. Deer have two sets of glands which are used in this identification process during the mating season. One set of glands is in their forehead between their antlers above their eyebrows. Uh, the other set of glands that are used in this process are located in the rear legs in the middle of uh, the, the leg in the hock area. These are called tarsal glands. The way that the identification process works during the mating season, uh, a female actually chooses the buck that she wants to mate with and she uh, lets him know that she's ready to breed or coming into estrus and the way that this happens is <clears throat> first of all uh, the bucks make their individual scrapes these uh, tearing up of the ground in front of the trees and shrubs that we just spoke about they'll, they'll tear up that area and what they do is they pee down their back legs and the urine runs across the uh, tarsal glands which are located in the rear hocks. When the urine runs over that it catches uh, the excretion of that fluid and then it drops on the ground and that scent is just as individual as just we spoke about. You, you yourself with your fingerprints. Okay. Now also that deer after uh, marking his uh, scrape like that He'll also, in the low-hanging branches around that area, he'll rub his head and he'll rub those glands above his eyebrows on there and that leaves an individual scent also. Now, uh, by making these two scents that I just spoke of is how deer identify each other. Okay, so as the female is uh, going through the woods, she's uh, smelling these scents that are left on these scrapes by the bucks and she knows exactly what buck it is that has that scrape by that scent. Okay, now, um, she knows and chooses what buck that she wants to breed with 
And the way that she lets that buck know that she wants to breed with him is she goes around and she finds the scrape of the buck that she wants to breed with. She goes to his scrape and she does the same thing. She pees down her back legs, the urine runs over the tarsal glands, uh, picks up, mixes with the excretion of the tarsal gland and goes down and lands in that scrape. Okay, Now that scent is individual to her and that lets that buck know that that specific doe wants to mate with him. Now what's kind of really cool about it is that a buck doesn't have to um, come anywhere near that scrape um, to know, to check it, to see if a female has left her name there that she is interested in mating with him. All he has to do is go downwind of that and he can pick up that scent and he automatically knows who that female is that's ready to breed with him and f go find her in the herd. That's the way that works. Okay, so <clears throat> um, also the scrapes and rubs tend to be uh, different sizes and they tend to be larger according to the size of the buck and his status in the herd, his dominant status. Usually there's one alpha male um, in the herd and he gets his choice of everything and uh, young up-and-comers have to take kind of what's left over. Anyway, and deer are constantly, the larger adolescent bucks are constantly challenging the um, <clears throat> alpha buck for his dominance. Anyway, but that's basically the way it works in a nutshell. Okay, how can that help you? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, during the rut is uh, normally a, a very large buck. If a buck can make it to where he's uh, four years old, he'll live out the rest of his natural life. But during the rut is the only time when they kind of just go crazy and they're not so good and careful about... Uh, where they go and when they go and how they expose themselves as they usually are during the other periods of the years. So if you really want to piss a buck off, let's say you find the dominant scrape in your area, the, the, the largest scrape that's you know way bigger than any of the other ones in your area, uh, you can generally be assured that that's probably the dominant buck scrape. If you want to really freak him out, uh, first of all, you need to put on a pair of rubber boots and a pair of rubber gloves and keep your scent down because a deer's smell his deer's scent is his strongest uh, his strongest um, thing that he has in keeping him safe and uh, <clears throat> so if you take and you put on a pair of rubber boots and rubber gloves and you find a scrape of a, a smaller buck a buck that's not dominant if you take a clean five gallon bucket and a shovel and you go dig that scrape up and you go over and you dump it on top of the dominant buck scrape that son of a bitch will go freaking nuts I mean I have seen them uh, identify a scrape that that's been done to and and what that is doing is uh, actually in the communication uh, setup of the herd that's a adolescent buck uh, going up and telling a alpha buck, you know, fuck you, I'm going to kick your ass, you son of a bitch, and I'm going to screw your women. That's basically what that says. Anyway, the alpha buck will go crazy trying to find this buck and kick his ass. And um, this can help you because it uh, causes him to let his guard down. Anyway... Um, hopefully, if you put that little bit of knowledge in your corner, that will increase the odds of your success in archery deer season. Thanks for watching.